Hi everybody, Mrs Taylor here. I'm going to read you a book today called Beware of Boys and it's written by Tony Blundell. Once upon a time, not so very long ago, nor so very far away, a small boy took a shortcut through the forest and was captured by a hungry wolf. Silly boy, smiled the wolf, and carried him back to his cave. What are you going to do with me? asked the boy. The wolf licked his lips. Why, eat you, of course, he replied. Roar, said the boy. The wolf roared. Roar! No, sighed the boy. I mean, aren't you even going to cook me first? The wolf thought about it. Hmm. Go on then, he said. What do you suggest? I do just happen to know a very good recipe for boy soup. The wolf, who was both hungry and greedy, could hardly contain himself. Mmm, he dribbled. Tell me what I need. So the boy told him. Recipe for boy soup. Ingredients to serve one greedy old wolf. One boy, medium sized, one large iron pot, one ton of potatoes, one oodle of onions, one wooden tub of turnips, one cartload of carrots, one packet of fruity chews, one well full of water, one barrel of bricks, one trowel. The method, first catch your boy, wash him thoroughly, especially behind the ears, place him firmly in the iron pot, add water, potatoes, onions, turnips, carrots and fruity chews to taste, sit on the barrel of bricks and stir with the trowel until Thursday. Off the wolf ran to gather, gather the ingredients. He raced here and there, to and fro, up and down, round and round, over and under, this way and that. When the wolf returned, the boy checked through everything. Oh, silly wolf, he said, you have forgotten the salt. The wolf's face fell. But you didn't say salt, he spluttered. Well, not to worry, said the boy. I've just remembered an even more delicious dish, which, as it happens, needs no salt. The wolf's stomach started to rumble rather badly. Great stuff, he said. Tell me, tell me. It's called boy pie, said the boy, popping a fruity chew into his mouth, and it's three times as good as boy soup. Yum, said the wolf, but you will just need a few things. And this is the recipe for boy pie. One boy, one large pie dish, three foothills of plain flour, one moo cow of milk, one large lump of lard, six sacks of cement, one load of leeks, one bird bath of beans, one packing case of parsnips, one shovel, one cowboy hat, one yellow yo-yo. Method. Toss the flour, milk and lard with the shovel until done. Arrange the boy comfortably in the pie dish. Fill his pockets with vegetables and cover with pastry. Place the yo-yo in the hat and sit on it. Inspect the pie hourly, then daily until golden brown. Off scampered the wolf. He scurried here and there, to and fro, up and down, round and round, over and under, this way and that. When the wolf came struggling, struggling back, huffing and puffing, the boy examined the goods. Oh wolf, he said, silly wolf, you've forgotten the salt. The wolf went weak at the knees, but you said this one needed no salt, he groaned. Well, it does, said the boy, but never mind. I've just remembered the most fantastically scrumptious dish that ever was, and it definitely doesn't need salt. The wolf almost decided on Roy Bo raw boy again. He picked up his ears. Go on then, he growled, tell me. It's bo called boy cake, said the boy, and it's ten times better than boy pie. And I suppose, sighed the wolf hopelessly, that I will just need a few things. Right, said the boy. This is the recipe for boy cake. One boy, as fat as you like, one bathtub, one big blob of butter, 
one bin full of brown sugar, five fire buckets of self-raising flour, one handbag of hen's eggs, one brick outhouse, one wheelbarrow of walnuts, one carrier bag of currants, one bunch of bananas, one red bicycle, two barn doors, one seashore of sand, one bunch of daffodils. Method. Place the boy in a warm room and allow to watch television. Mix the butter, flour, brown sugar and hen's eggs in the bathtub. Blend in the barn doors, bananas, currants and walnuts. Carefully add the bicycle, sand and daffodils. If it rains, stand in the outhouse. The wolf crawled off once more into the forest. He stumbled here and he stumbled there. To and fro, up and down, round and round, over and under, this way and that. It was some time before the wolf returned, staggering under an enormous mountain of ingredients. The boy took a long, long look. Oh, silly, silly wolf, he said, shaking his head sadly. You have forgotten the salt. There was a tremendous crash as the wolf collapsed. Down went the wolf.